Baseball fans, listen to this one. Investigators hired by retired MLB player David Ortiz say the June 2019 shooting that nearly killed him was no accident. Authorities previously claimed the shooting was a case of mistaken identity. Private investigators now say he was actually targeted by a Dominican drug kingpin. Paul Gerke is joining us now near Major League Baseball's headquarters in New York with more. Paul. Adrian, if this was ripped from the Hollywood headlines, it was certainly a horror script for David Ortiz. What an ordeal for the former Red Sox slugger. It was the former Boston police chief, Edward Davis, who headed up this investigation. He withheld its findings until the suspect was within U.S. custody for Ortiz's safety. David Ortiz says he doesn't know why anybody would target him or want him dead, but he's thankful he's alive and he's not planning on living his life in fear. On June 9, 2019, while seated at a bar in Santo Domingo, Boston Red Sox legend David Ortiz was shot in the back at point blank range. Until now, the consensus explanation behind the attempt on Ortiz's life has been a case of mistaken identity that hitmen were intending to shoot the man Ortiz was with, Sixto David Fernandez. But according to former Boston Police Commissioner turned private investigator Edward Davis, Ortiz was the target after all. Big Poppy hits it to deep right field. Over the course of a six month investigation, Davis was told international drug kingpin Cesar Peralta was jealous of Ortiz and felt disrespected by the Dominican star. Peralta reportedly placed the bounty on Ortiz and greenlit the hit squad who attacked him. By some accounts, the two were close friends, by others, merely passing acquaintances. Dominican authorities did not cooperate with the new investigation, which obviously contradicts their story. Peralta is being held without bail in Puerto Rico on charges of conspiracy to import cocaine and heroin. He has not been charged in Ortiz's shooting, and his lawyer denies his client has any involvement. Thirteen people have been charged in that 2019 shooting. Ortiz says he doesn't know how this will affect the ongoing investigation. He was seriously injured, losing part of his gallbladder and part of his intestine afterwards. Poppy's going to be welcomed to Cooperstown. He's part of the uh, Hall of Fame class being introduced this July. Adrian? Yeah, I forgot about those lurid details about his injuries, but thank you, Paul, for reminding us. I'm glad he's okay, and I'm glad they got to the bottom of this. Well, to weather right Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.